Hi there, so this is the second time I'm making this video because the first time that I made this video more than one day ago uh, I totally messed up the audio. Um, and now, uh, seeing that uh, after qualifying um, Leclerc and uh, Carlos Sainz qualified P1, P3 uh, it's even more pertinent that I remake this video. So the topic is the fascinating side pods on the 2022 Ferrari, which are obviously totally opposite in in concept to, for example, the, the Mercedes no side pod um, approach. And um, yeah, it's obviously a lot more bulky and, and, and going to cause a lot more uh, drag, I would imagine. And, and therefore you have to ask, well, what, what, what do they get out of it? Um, and uh, when I saw this particular picture, uh, with this very clear curvature, uh, you know, so, where some people have um, made memes replacing that with Eau Rouge or, or with a bathtub. Um, I think it's a very deliberate design uh, by for, for Ferrari for sure. Uh, and the reason is uh, this really made me think back to a conversation I had with a, a Cambridge professor many, many years ago um, when discussing the topic of how lift is generated. Uh, on, on aircraft wings and what he said at the time was that uh, contrary to the the, the common um, explanation of the um, the air having to travel a further distance on the one side of a wing and therefore um, having to, to flow fla faster and, and, and leading to a lower pressure um, he, he was saying that it is purely due to the curvature which which is uh, causing uh, this lower pressure on the on the more curved side of the wing, um, typically. So on the on the upper surface, and in the in the in the case of a racing car on the on the under surface. Um, so um, I did a very small experiment myself, and this is where I'm hoping the audio isn't so loud that you cannot hear what I'm saying anymore. Um, so you see, I did this very small experiment where I brought a spoon and, and notice how the spoon um, shoots to the right uh, once in the, in the flow of water. So the, so it for the spoon forces the, the water to, to make this curve uh, and then as the water uh, traverses this curvature, it forces the, the spoon to go um, in the opposite direction, so in the in the direction of the curvature, and um, there are also you know papers that back up uh, this explanation that the um, that the downforce is, is or, or or lift is generated purely by the um, by the curvature and rather than uh, you know the the longer path. Uh, so there's for example this. Um, this paper from or um, uh, class notes from uh, MIT, where it explains, you know, the above relation between pressure gradients and streamline curvature implies that changes in surface con contours lead to changes in surface pressure. Um, notice it is purely due to the surface contour, and this can also be um, demonstrated by, uh, let's say, a a wing which is so if you if you bend a perfectly flat piece of paper into a curved shape um, when air flows over that it will generate lift even though the distance that the air has to travel along, along both sides is exactly the same and um, there are also uh, other ways to prove this so there's a very common um, test uh, or or trick uh, that um, people teach kids, which is you take a piece of paper, you let it drop, um, uh, and, and then you blow on it, and the plate and the paper will fly up. And, and this is where you know people will say, ah, yeah, the, there's a faster fl uh, flow of air on top of the paper, and therefore that that's how wing lift is generated. But that is of course not true. With the the lift is generated purely by the curvature of the of the paper that is now drooping. Um, uh, so if you hold the paper perfectly vertically and blow along, blow down the perfectly flat piece of paper, you will not see 
um, the, pa the paper flying up. Um, you, 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 you can try it. I, I tried it today. Uh, the paper definitely does not fly up. Um, whereas if the paper has this curvature and you blow along the top, then the paper will fly up. Um, so, ah, yeah. So the, um, the link to, to this, uh, this particular um, article is, is here. Um, so yeah, uh, I would say, um, I think Ferrari is basically making this entire upper area, uh, and, um, you know, a downforce generating device. So definitely a very conscious effort. Um, and, uh, besides that, I would, um, also say, um, yeah, obviously the, the, the side pods probably create a bit more drag. But uh, because it's creating some downforce, it seems to be worth it. Um, I would also point you to the fact that uh, F1 is, seems to be releasing um, these side-to-side -side videos, which I find really cool. Um, also, especially in terms of the live gap uh, that they're showing, you're really able to see where the, the, the cars are making up time. Um, in general, it seems like the, the Ferrari uh, was a little bit slower uh, down the straights than the Red Bull. Um, whether it's due to the side pods or not, impossible to say because, yeah, obviously there's also the, the, the wings um, which, which, come, which contribute to the, to the, to the drag level. Uh, but it was interesting to see that um, Charles Leclerc was basically making up the um, the yeah the, the deficit uh, at the last corner uh, and besides that in general um, it seemed like Charles Leclerc would break earlier uh, but also get on the power earlier so that was that was interesting um, for example yeah I think it was especially uh, apparent in the um, in the downhill. Um, I believe corner nine or ten, so it's like a very fast kink. They, they they have to brake really hard and then and then turn left, where it's really easy to lock an inside left. Um, I think over there it was really evident that um, Leclerc was uh, braking earlier, but then also getting on the on the power earlier and and then making up, um, you know, pulling back some of the difference on the on the on the back straight. Um, so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, uh, worth checking it out uh, if you haven't yet. And uh, yeah, hope the video was interesting. Till next time.